Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lucky Session number seven. We are here once again with our players for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Circle of Fate campaign. We are going to be doing event number three, if you don't count the secret event that we just did last session. Last session was actually a pretty big session. So I told the players that for today's warm-up, I think timing-wise, it made a lot of sense for us to do a journal entry, or journal or diary entry of each character on really anything that is on their mind at this point, especially since A, they just had um, the last dance, they had the event of the dance going on, they're about, they're halfway through all of the um, uh, zodiac events, and anything and anything in between that you think would be really insightful to get into their head um, if you believe especially that um, certain thoughts may not come out externally during natural roleplay. So to stall, I asked the players to come up with one NPC. It can be any NPC that they wanted. They wanted to hear a journal entry from. So have you guys decided who you wanted the entry to be for? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who would you like me to do an entry for? We would like to hear Bartholomew's uh, journal entry. Yes. How's he doing in jail? How's he going? Bartholomew. What do you think about? That's an excellent, uh, that's an excellent suggestion. And um, Bartholomew is pronounced Bartholomew, not Bartholomew. Why did we mm -hmm. think that that was the case? Uh, because English, that's how English works. <laughs> Sorry. Research, guys. I learned a valuable lesson. Yeah, out of character without um, without giving any spoilers away. There is a there is a character from Stranger Things season three um, named Alexi, spelled L E L A L E X E I, and apparently they pronounced Alexi Alexi and not Alexei. So we think that means Varfalame is actually Varfalame. We think perhaps but perhaps. So let me let me go ahead and figure out what Varfala me would write in his journal. Well, so here we are. All this time and it's led up to this point. Can't say that I'm surprised though. I think deep down inside I knew that things were gonna end this way. Azkaban is about what I suspected it would be. Though I'm not really worried about that myself. I'm not really thinking about that. Thinking more about my kids. Thinking about my family. What must they be thinking about me right now? Do I regret some of the things I've done? <sighs> Hard to tell, honestly. What I do regret, however, is involving my family into things more than I should have. I tried my best to keep them separate, 
from all of this craziness. Especially Alec. I think I was the hardest on him. And I know I put him through a lot. I've tried for the last several years not to take advantage of our relationship, and I've tried to keep him in the dark. It's important, the, mo the little that he knows, the better. For his protection, not mine. There was one final request that I made of him, and that will be the last. I don't know what's in store for me while I am here. Lionheart seems like a good man. I know he was assigned to me, but I can see in his eyes. He knows that I deserve everything that the people here at Azkaban believes I deserve. We shall see what happens in the next few days. And that is the end of that entry. What? Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to kick Alex off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, we already, we I mean, I mean, Jordan, we already knew, right? Yeah, he, but he was going to talk to me and he's going to say like, yeah, dad asked me to oh, no, commit mass murder or some shit. And we're like, have to kill Dumbledore. No, 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 no. Dumbledore's I, already. I'm going to stick with, with the Bartholomew. He's not as bad as he seems. Yeah, he's, it was really weirdly like, I don't know, maybe we were right, maybe he is a good guy. <laughs> I think he's innocent. I think he's innocent. My dad's gonna get him out. My well, dad like, will get him out, of, I promise you. <laughs> he's like a victim of circumstance. I was only following orders. Like, maybe it's one of them circumstances. Yeah, no, I'm... Uh, I don't know, I, I think... I think he's bad, but I think that there's some reasons he might have done some of the stuff that go beyond just pure evil. Mm. Like he may yeah. have been in a bad spot and he may have been doing some stuff because he thought it was best for his family, but then he just kind of got down this rabbit hole and couldn't stop. Dear Journal, oh, where to begin? <laughs> so a lot, has, a lot has changed since the last time I, I wrote in here. Um, a lot of friendships have grown and some have faded a little bit, unfortunately. So, you know that secret that, you know, only you knew in here? Well, finally, finally got out. I finally shared that secret with some friends, and Asa was the first one I told, and it just, it didn't go well, and I don't, I don't know how that relationship's going to go from here, but thankfully, you know, when I told Nico, he was, he had my back, so. Then we've got, you know, my new friends that I met through this whole event and it's kind of crazy to see how just a few weeks or a few months have passed and you know I'm really really getting to like these guys and even with the bomb Roxy dropped on me with with her dad and finding out that you know he he probably is responsible for killing my mom especially with this new you know news of him being sent to Azkaban despite all that I still feel like you know she's She's a co close friend, and I, I worry about her. And Levi and Juan, I mean, they've been there for me as well. And even if our team went from first to last, I feel like we're growing as a family. Speaking of family, my dad, yeah, things have been kind of weird between him, you know, despite always kind of having this relationship where we butt heads. This whole, you know, Schwetz getting into Azkaban has kind of brought us together in a weird way, but... We'll see how things go. So, you know, hopefully event three is coming up. Hopefully our team can redeem ourselves and things don't get too crazy. But I'll be sure to keep you keep you informed. Signing out. Dear Diary, again. The uh, the past few days have uh, been a roller coaster of emotions. Um, my father has finally been brought to justice. And I should probably be happier about that, but um, comes with a bunch of other consequences. Everyone hates me, for one. Thanks, Da. Um, 
And he's probably orphaned half the school, most of whom I know. So that makes it difficult to socialize in general. But even more disappointing is that my suspicions were correct. You know, I had a little bit of hope that, I don't know, maybe there was something that was misunderstood, but I was wrong. But all that aside, I don't think the group realizes how much the ball night meant to me because in just in small ways, they turned it from a horrible memory into a bittersweet one. You know, they all made sure I was okay and trying to help me have a good time even when I probably didn't deserve it. I mean, I call Levi stupid all the time and I don't even need to explain why El should hate me and I betrayed Juan. But despite that, they stick up for me and I realize I've been spending all this time trying to impress a school, half of whom I can't even name, and none of them give a shit about me. And the people who did care, I didn't do right by them. But that's going to change. I'm going to be better for this group. Even if that means I have to leave. And that'll be the end of her journal entry. Dear Diary, uh, it's your boy, Levi. Uh, just wanted to drop in and let you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that whole like dance thing was so much fun. And like, man, it was, that whole night was just a blur. I don't, I don't barely remember it. It was so much fun. Uh, <laughs> a little bummed though that she has to like, took my idea of the Spice Girls. You know, I told my friends, <laughs> you know, they, they didn't want to do it. You know, something about dressing like a girl, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, people need to open up a little bit more. You know, it was fun and that she won because of it. But uh, yeah, things are going good with Chessa. Uh, we went on a date. Uh, that that was that was fun. Uh, you know, though, like part of me feels like you know this isn't gonna work out in the end, though. But uh, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes in life. Uh, but uh, me and Al are actually starting to become friends. Who would have thought? You know, after like what, like ten years or something, we finally start bonding or something. Uh, <laughs> But uh, he, uh, he gave me a secret to hold. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do my best to, to keep that secret and not tell anybody. Not even you, Journal. Sorry. It's between me and my buddy <laughs> out. Uh, uh, you know, I hope we can get things together here. You know, we need to start coming together more as a group. But we're not, I don't see us winning this competition. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the it's getting rough. We're in last place right now. The best. We did was the first event when I think we were the closest. And now that, you know, the group is starting to fall a bit, we've lost the last two events. And I think there's a correlation there that I think we need to fix, uh, you know, but things have been good. I got to speak to my dad. Oh, Journal, did you know that like, you could just take your cell phone off a canvas <laughs> and like call your dad? Like, that's crazy, right? Like, who would have thought of that? <laughs> but, uh, you know, Journal, you're always here. Thanks for listening and signing out. Oh my god. <laughs> Dear diary, things have been we've had so many ups and downs. And, and I'm not only talking about the events. No, no. In the events we went up, 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 crashing down. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean everyone else. I feel I don't know. I don't know if that was the intention, but I've seen the other participants and my friends, Levi, Al, and especially Rox. This tournament has really changed them. Like, n not just in a in a superficial way. At least I think I've seen so many changes. Like Toby, for example, that guy couldn't speak. Like with 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 anyone he was really uncomfortable but now he went on a date with Tritessa and 
I don't know. I I feel like this is doing a lot of good for us. Well, at least for some of us. <sighs> I wonder if Roxana is going to be okay. I was really an asshole with her and I think I owe her too much. I have to go also go see if Al's okay. He's been acting a little bit weird. <sighs> too many things in my mind, too many things in my mind. I really don't know what I'm gonna be. Well, sign out. Uh, the next morning, Nico is going to knock on your door, Albion. Okay, I would answer. Hey, hey what's up? Al, uh, your dad's here. Oh, okay. So, did he? does he need me right now? Yeah, he said he needs to talk to you. Okay, so if I was not dressed in actual clothing, I would probably get dressed and walk out into the common room, I assume? Yeah, you're going to see Augustus, and he's waiting for you, and he um, walks over to you, and he says, I'm assuming you read the news. Yeah, I saw the article. Mom's name was in it. Um, I figured you probably would find out before I had a chance to tell you, but we, um, we've been... <sighs> interrogating him using some of the most powerful veritaserum that we have and he he essentially confirmed that he was the one who killed your mother i would just kind of nod his head like pretty much expecting this but yeah uh, i guess i guess it's good to know then and get some closure still have you thought about the offer of having you see him in Azkaban it's completely 100% up to you I am not suggesting it necessarily but I figure if that is something you want to do I can make arrangements um, I appreciate that but I just I still don't see I don't even know what I would say to him at this point. Do you think you'll go anyways? Um, well, I was planning on interrogating him personally myself. I've actually been talking quite a bit with your friend's father, Le uh, oh. Levi's. Yeah, what's... is he representing him or something he um is representing him but again the veracitarium has pretty much confirmed everything that i think we needed to know from him so what does mr lionheart's role entail i think he's just making sure that all of the family affairs are taken care of. He's been in close contact with Miss Schwetz right now. Uh, I heard, though, that she doesn't really want anything to do with him, though. Yeah, actually, I got to talk to Roxana, his, his daughter, a little more. And I hope, I hope you're still not looking to pull her from the games because I don't think it's fair to her. I was actually... I was actually speaking with... Headmaster Fontaine about that. It seems that uh, things at school have been a bit taxing on the young lady, and he and I were discussing whether or not it would actually be in her best, best interest to pull her out, away from all the attention. I mean, like I told you before, don't do it for my sake. I'm fine. In fact, I... I consider Roxy a friend, for what it's worth. So, if it's best for her, then great. But I feel like she should at least have a say as well. I mean, this is her life, and I think it would be a lot if it sprung on her. 
without her knowing ahead of time. I'll take that into consider. And I mean, I know, I know you want that you want this to all look good, and you want me to represent our family, and you're worried that her being on my team will get in the way of that. But I don't think, I don't think taking her out of the competition and replacing her is going to change that. I'm doing my best either way, and I know my team's not winning now, but I don't know. Do you need anything else, Albion? If you do go talk to him, though, I'd like to hear what he has to say when you get back. All right. Very well. Hey, Dad. Yes, son. Where's Mom's wand? I told you, son, it was destroyed in the fire. Do you know anything about her abilities? I know she she knew magic food. Do you know anything else? Your mother wanted to keep a lot of what she did for a living a secret for everybody's safety. But I suppose now that you're getting older, there's no reason to hide it from you. Yes, Majfu is definitely something that she used a lot out on the field for very good reason because many of her missions were very dangerous. She wasn't just an oar in the Ministry of Magic, Albion. She was a vampire hunter. Hmm. Wow. Yes. My memory of that day is a little hazy, but I think that the day mom was killed, that the Death Eaters, Roxy's father, they were after something that she kept on her wand. I don't think they wanted her. I think they wanted whatever it was that she pulled from her wand. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't... I didn't get a good look at it because I was being tortured, but I think once they got that, that's all they cared about. And then she was gone and that's really all I remember. I know there was the fire, but whatever it was, I think they were after it. Thank you for telling me this. I think we have yeah. quite a bit more to ask Mr. Svets in Azkaban. Yeah, like I said, just let me know. Thanks for coming to tell me. I mean, I knew you assumed I saw the article, but I appreciate you giving me the opportunity, even though I, I don't think going to Azkaban is the best thing for me right now. He'll um, hesitantly give you like a light pat on the shoulder and then he will turn around straighten up his suit and he will leave Roxana there will be an owl who will drop off a letter to you and it's from Alec and Alec will say we need to talk soon I'll find you um, meet me He's going to he's going to give you like a specific location, um, actually just outside of Koldovstoretz. Mm -hmm. um, this says meet me at this at this time at this place, and we'll deal with that later. So, yeah. the uh, champions are going to be called to inform you about event number three. You guys will be taken to Wagadu, and. Immediately, you will, re you will realize that the temperature will increase considerably in Ouagadou. It's quite hot. And they will take you to... <laughs> They're going to take you over to this area just out of sight of the school, this desert area where there's lots of sand. Um, and here, you will see a giant three-way chessboard. Ooh. No. Yes. <laughs> the headmistress of Wagadu will 
greet you, Headmistress Vinza Mwamba. And she says, Champions of the Zodiac, for event number three, we are proud to host what we would like to call African Wizards Chess. As you can see, we have a very special three-way board. The, I assume many of you probably know how chess is played or how the pieces are moved. If not, you will have time to learn between now and the event. This is how it will work. There will be the choice of the king, queen, bishop, rook, and knight. You will have the option of choosing two professors to join your team in this challenge. And behind her, you see Sensei Hideo Kimura, you see Professor Nayota Bahati, Professor Chukowimpika, uh, Chukowameka Zuberi, uh, you see Professor Svetlana Praskovia, Professor Boris Hooch, Professor Heloisa Eduarda, and Professor Anna Silva. In a moment, your group will be given a chance to take turns to select which two professors will join you for this challenge. And if you wish to confer with them from now until the event for strategy, you are welcome to confer with your professor partners. That will give you a total of six players on each side of the chessboard. One of you will need to be the queen, one will be the king, one, uh, he'll say two of you will need to be both bishops, and you will choose one knight position and one rook position. That leaves the other two positions vacant, and those positions that are vacant will not be used in the game. The object of the game is for you to either be the last king standing or to get rid of all of the opposing team's chess pieces. So the way this is going to work out of character is once everybody is in position, so you're going to pick which piece you each will represent and you will all roll initiative and you will move in initiative order you will be required to move across the board using the rules that apply based on your specific chess piece. And when your chess piece ends up in the space of another opposing team's chess piece, you will immediately go into a duel, into a wizard's duel. The attacking player, the one who actually moves into the chess piece, will act first, and they will be able to cast whatever spell they want, or some other physical thing if you want to be physical instead of magical. Um, and then the cast, the person who is defending can defend and then respond. The object is to take them down a wound level. If you manage to take them out of the wound level, that piece gets taken over the board, regardless of who initiated the attack. Okay? Um, there is a special rule for the knights. Because Wagadu is known for transfiguration and for transforming into animals, whoever is a knight may choose to transfigure into an animal. In such a case, if that animal captures a piece, there's no battle. It's just, you capture the piece. Like, um, um, but it still has to move the same way that a knight normally moves in chess. Pretty much, uh, the rules are going to be relatively strict, but you're, again, able to use, you know, magic items, healing potions, again, but within the realm of, within the realm of the rules. You cannot heal yourself once a piece tries to capture another piece. You can't heal yourself in the middle of combat. Um, you, you said if you go down one wound level, then you're done? Then you're out. If you're down one wound level, you're out. And you will just keep playing until you are the last king standing, or if you have managed to successfully get rid of the other opposing team's pieces. That means that we could end up dueling a professor? Yes, it does. Uh, right, right. <laughs>
the knight just has to land on someone and that's it. The, la the knight, if you successfully are in a transfigured form, you just have to land on somebody and that's it. They capture that person. So in theory, oh. just to strategize, our person who's the worst at dueling should be a knight because then they don't have to do any dueling. As long as they can transfigure yeah. themselves. Into oh, a, they do a beast. Have to they still have to transfigure themselves into a beast of some sort, a medium-sized beast. I would like a representative from each team to please send somebody up, so we can begin selecting the professors that will be on your team. So you um, won. Uh, I'll. I've got. I think I have the highest game roll, so I can go. We, up. I think we were sending the home person each time. Remember? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I didn't have any game. I'll go. All right, so roll your games roll, please. Who rolled a critical? That was chance. <laughs> Toby got a 60. All right. Team Pukwaji gets the first pick of the professor. Team Horn Serpent gets the second pick. Team Wampus gets the third and fourth pick. Then it'll snake back to Horn Serpent. And finally, Pukwaji. So... Team Pakwaji, who would you like to join your group, your team's group first? And the Takwaji team like chats for a bit. Um, and they are going to say, we choose Nayota Bahati, who is the astronomy professor. Um, which actually makes sense because Nayela is big into astronomy, so. All right, Team Horn Serpent. Who would you like to choose? Um, and they're going to huddle about. And uh, Tobias will say, I choose Professor Sv Svetlana Preskovia, who is the runes professor. Boris Hooch, Boris Hooch. <laughs> Professor Stuberry. Damn it. <laughs> Look at him. Mama. Can we play Zuberry? Yes. I think that's why. Zuberry is cool. I like Zuberry a lot. Yeah. Okay. Zuberry is the first professor we pick. All okay, right. The second one. Now you get to meet. Yeah, you can immediately pick a second professor. I mean, we probably also want to pick uh, Hideo as well, don't we? I don't know. I mean, I could see, I could see all of them being useful. Do they cover any like? Like areas we can't cover as well. Well, Boris Hooch is head of Corver at House, so he uh, okay. might get bonuses. Is... He might get a bonus to game, maybe. Professor Eloisa Eduarda looks pretty badass. I don't know. She's Magizoology. She's the Magizoology professor. <laughs> professor Ana Silva is divination, and of course, Sensei Hideo Kimura is the herbology professor. So I'm going to leave the last pick to you guys. I mean, I'm trying to think like in character, Al would definitely vouch for Hideo. Out of character, I'm not sure. I feel like they could all be fun. Um, I mean, out of character, um, I would recommend choosing the professor you you personally want to get to know more. That's why I talk very personally want to role yeah. play with more. That's my that's my DM suggestion. Kind of want to pick Boris Hooch for that then, but um, is, is people happy with that or? Uh, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I am I can do any of them. I think Hooch yeah. would be fun. I think Anna Silva could be interesting just because. Oh, no right. He's from Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, that... why, don't, why don't we pick Anna Silva? I don't know because. That's <laughs> Levi's head of house too, right? Yeah. Let's. Let's do that for Brandon since he yeah. can't be here today. We're yeah, Anna Silva. All right, Anna Silva. Going back to Horn Serpent, um, they are going to select Professor Heloisa Eduarda. And then, last but not least, Team Pakwaji is going to choose uh, Sensei Hideo Kimura. And so Boris, uh, Boris, which will say. I'm not used to being the last one picked in gym. <laughs> I, I advocated for you, Mr. Hooch. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. But somebody 
And he looks. At, she looks at Levi. Glad it's somebody else. <laughs> All right. Now that you have chosen professors, feel free to go back to your common areas and begin to talk strategy. I'm gonna go with Professor Soberi and be like, Professor, it's an honor that you're part of our team. It's an honor to be chosen, he says. How have you been, Juan? It's been a quite oh, a while I... since we've actually talked. Uh, I know, Professor. It's it's been it's been a roller coaster of emotions this tournament. But I think I'm doing well. I'm glad that I got a a team as good as this one. I know we're not doing as great as we could be, but don't worry, we're gonna destroy this event with you and our team. The journey is definitely an arduous one, but I think that you have proven yourselves more than once in this competition up to this point. I have the utmost faith that you will continue to show what the Wampus team has up their sleeve. Oh, and if we want to do that, we will need a good strategy. Uh, let's see what we can think of now that we're all here. Professor Anna Silva will actually make her way to, uh, to Levi. Ah, Levi, darling. So, we are going to be teaming up for this particular event. Very exciting. Yeah, it's like super exciting, but I, you know, I already know you saw that one coming. Um, actually, no, I didn't see this particular scene play out. I don't see everything, but I do see what is important to be seen, I suppose. Can you see if we're going to win this or not? No. I cannot, mostly because I am involved in this particular event, which means the likelihood of me finding out my own outcome is very, very slim. Ah, that's, you know, that's not very helpful. But what could be helpful is, all right, so do you know what we can use to stay cool in this, like, African heat because I only know sunblock and slurpees, all right? And I don't know if we're going to be able to acquire that. You know what we could possibly do to stay cold? Uh, one of the easiest ways is through magic. That's a problem for me. All right, so Al and Juan and possibly Rox are going to have to take care of that. Okay, but I'm actually, look, this is like a little unknown secret about Levi. I'm actually really good at chess. So. I think, I think I have an advantage there on everybody except for maybe Chessa. She seems like she's just smart and everything, you know what I'm saying? That's true. You can't spell Chessa without chess. <laughs> <laughs> you are wise beyond your years. I let you know that now. <laughs> so Al would just kind of let out a little bit of a sigh and be like, oh, I don't know, guys. This, this event's looking like it's going to be tough. I mean... He'll give Roxy a glance. He'll say, "I mean, you you doled Chessa and Fit, no, not Fit, Chessa and Nico last time, and no offense, but it, it didn't really go that great for you. So we we know what we're up against here, and I think the best offense might be a good defense. And he'll look at the professors and just kind of be like, "Do you got? Do you have any tips? Like, how can we how can we defend ourselves against some of these amazing duelists that we've seen? They're they're pretty powerful." Let's just make sure that our knight goes after Chessa so that we don't have to duel her. That, that's the only that idea. Works. See, that's going to be kind of difficult if Chessa's like a, a piece that can move like pretty far, the like knight. let's say, like I don't know, a queen or something. The positioning of our knights and our pawns. So the pawns also can auto capture somebody without dueling. And they still capture the way that a pawn normally captures. Um, he says, the positioning of our knights and our pawns will definitely be critical if you wish to take out some of the stronger duelists. Also, keep in mind that you only need to take them down a wound level, and that is based on who is able to do it before the other. So, if there is anything that we can do to reduce the damage taken, 
or be able to strike at them quickly, that will probably be the key. That's perfect. Can, can the teachers duel the student? Like, are you guys allowed to hurt them? Like, oh, that's like a gray area, you know? Some people get locked up for that. Ah, oh, yes. We have been instructed to not pull any punches, she says. We will All be right. fighting at our full whether it is targeted at a teacher or a student. We are all instructed to consider each one's peer, everyone peers here. I yes. can't believe we didn't pick Boris Hooch. He is a god amongst men, and you didn't pick him. If we're talking about gods amongst men, we have the best one with my professor here. Okay, question, professor. Yeah, Silva is pretty good, you're right. No, 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 Superi. What exactly do you teach? What are you good at? I am the alchemy professor over in Wagadu. Okay. Are you good at magic? <laughs> Silva, at this, Silva will grin. Is he good at magic? Yeah, it's, it's a nice question. question. How dare you ask that about Yeah, I thought I was good at magic and I got my ass kicked, remember? <laughs> yeah, but you're not Professor Suberi. That hey, you true. think you're good at everything. I am good That's at everything. True. It's just Chess is better at everything. <laughs> Professor Zuberi is definitely far more powerful than I am, at least, at magic, Professor Anna Silva says. That is very kind of you to say, Anna. It's only the truth. I am not blind to that, she says. Okay, and what are you good at, Miss Silva? She says, well... If you wish to strategize, one of the things we need to do is determine the positioning of our pieces, yes. The teams are, um, are to select the positioning of their pieces in secret. But, if you wanted to take a sneaky peek, she says, and with that she, she um, goes over to the uh, chalkboard or whiteboard, and um, she takes up a piece of chalk Excuse me, but <laughs> her eyes she does this a lot. Give me a second. Her eyes go um white like Storm from X-Men. Her eyes go white. And she begins like sketching um, something onto the board very, very quickly, like holding her hands to her temple as she's scanning and sketching. And what you realize is that she's starting to sketch the, um, the board itself, and she begins putting names down. So if everyone's at roll 20, Ooh. you can start seeing things appear onto the board. As Anna Silver is doing her thing, uh, Roxana looks over at Levi and says, Call Chogan, I think she's having a stroke. <laughs> no, no, she does this a lot. She does this a lot. Just give her a second. Okay. If she starts foaming from the mouth, that's when we gotta go get Chogan. Okay. <laughs> that has happened before? Wait, uh, still not only there. a couple times. It depends how far she's looking. When she's mm. done, she shakes off the trance. She blinks her eyes. And uh, she says, ah, looks like my chicken scratch is improving at least a little bit, she says, eyeing the chart. And you can clearly see the board and the two other teams and the positions of their pieces. Um, sh at this point, she looks at Zuberi and she says, maybe one of us should describe the board to you, as she's looking at the chessboard. If you notice, they seem to be front-loading all of their pieces towards your direction. Mm, no, 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 again? We're in last place. They don't care. Clearly, <laughs> they, they find you to be the biggest threat. Why? I highly <laughs> doubt that. They're coming in last place. You were first just a moment ago. And, yeah. and to be fair, I have a feeling that much of the reason why you didn't score so high in the last event was due to temporary circumstances. 
You know what? Yeah, because next we're time we're definitely well. going to be performing Spice Girls next time for sure. <laughs> you know what? No, no. This time we are going to go after them and we're going to destroy them. Now. Maybe we uh, could do another alliance behind the other team's back. No, no. We already talked about this. No alliances. If we're going to do this, we're going to do it by ourselves. Yes, but hey, we'll Juan, get you and, uh, Juan, you and like uh, Naila, you guys are like going steady now, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him, he can barely speak. Are you blushing? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Duberry has a very like <laughs> odd look on his face where. It look he sort of um it looks like he's fighting a grin. Like you can just tell that he's about to grin, but he's fighting a grin. And out of character, he is a very powerful empath. So he Aww. can sense people's feelings. And when people are feeling very when their feelings are flaring up, it definitely does affect um Zuberi in a very like in a very direct way. But he's fighting, showing it outwardly, probably out of respect to Juan. <laughs> That's um, why Rex I love him. So Rex like Juan. Will... Oops, sorry. Sorry, yeah, Rexana yeah, will yeah, tend yeah. to Levi and be like, aren't you going out with Chessa? Can't we like, I don't know. Oh, that's right, you're going out with Chessa. Yeah, who is well, literally yeah, who, I mean, the like, most intimidating person. She punched look, me in the head. we've gone out on a she couple awesome. dates. We've gone out on a couple dates, you know, and things are going all right. But look, yeah, definitely, definitely look, Chessa's team has got Chance on it. We're, we're buddies. Uh, Nico's on there. So Al, you can speak to Nico. Naila's on there. Finn will just, I think, follow everybody's lead. Let's just, let's not talk about an alliance, but maybe talk to them about at least just playing fair. I really don't think we're going to get an alliance with uh, Finn's team somehow. Al was well, we don't looking at the board, and when you brought up Nico's name, he looks at you because Nico's not even on that team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was an out of character or in character mistake, but he's on the other team. <laughs> oh, is, I don't, I have to, well, who's on that team? Which one is that? That's the one of it, right? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, we've already, like Juan said, we already decided that, you know, an alliance probably isn't. It could help, but we have friends on both teams, and I think they've already made up their mind that they're coming after us. So I think we just need to focus and figure out what positions we're each going to do. Well, then it looks okay. like the professors are the kings, which I makes mean, sense. I think we need to follow through on that. It does make sense because they probably are the most defensive, and the king is the most important piece. No, this is perfect strategy right here. Look. Because the strategy is not ever let your king get got. So you just, you, your king's got to run anyways. So we should make our professors attackers. Okay, so guys, do we want to, like, concentrate on a team? Like, put ourselves all in, in on one side? Or do we want to, like, meet it so that we aren't gotten by surprise by any of the two teams? Uh, well, um... I kind of think we should follow Levi's suggestion and have our best fighter as the king. But the question is, who is that? Uh, going to be honest here, I don't think it's me. Uh, <laughs> just going off <laughs> best experiences. Um. I, I actually think our best fighter should be our queen piece, because the queen can move the furthest around the boards. Okay, I'll admit I actually don't know how to play chess. <laughs> so you guys decide where we should go <laughs> because I, I don't know what I'm doing. Al has one thing. I would he would want to talk to Professor Zuberi. And he would sure. do this in front of everyone. So Sure. Um, uh, excuse me, Professor Zuberi. Well yes, yeah, Scorpio champion. Um, if you don't mind my asking, how will you determine your moves if you're unable to see the battlefield? I can maneuver my way around, and I have a very good sense of where everybody else is positioned. 
So would you feel comfortable representing us as our queen? If that is where you believe I would be best placed, it would be an honor for my... It would be an honor to play the queen piece. Well, I think, I think if you have no, no potential issues moving around the board, that, that may be best. I do not believe I will. Okay. I actually think our queen should be Juan. Oh, was... The... We did originally say Juan, but maybe having queen, the queen be the, our most powerful piece might be a little bit better. But if Juan was dead set on being queen, I don't... It doesn't... I, I don't we know. Just... Juan doesn't really care. The list I had was... Juan, this is the plan I proposed, like, early, was Juan is queen the king should be Zuberi because we've established he's more powerful than Anna Silva which would make Anna Silva which, which pieces are there two of is it bishop or rook sorry there are it looks like it's uh two bishops one mm -hmm. queen king one rook okay. one knight so in that case queen would be well the list I have is queen would be Juan king would be Zuberi the bishops would be Albion and Anna Silva Levi would be rook and Roxy would be the knight I think we should switch whichever one, uh, uh, either Al or Juan, for make them the king, because the king is just running away. You don't want the king to ever fight, regard because if the king is fighting in real chess, you already lost. Okay. Yeah. So well, then, the strategy Juan should, should be just king be and Zuberi should king be away. Hmm. What? Your king. Juan is king, Zuberi is queen, Anna Silva and Albion are bishops, Levi is rook, Roxana is knight. That could work well because Juan, if you do have to fight uh, for whatever reason, uh, we, like we can't get you out of a situation, I think Juan's a good enough fighter to fighter, hold he can defend for a while. Himself. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah are we going to attack to the left or the right first, guys? I think we left. should stay to the right. Gonna make our... Oh, you want to go left? I think we should go right I mean, as well. All right. I, I don't I'll, think I'll we should go right because I don't want to get caught by by Chessa not being prepared. Well, wait, 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 wait. But Nico, Nico and Finn are the two that could move straight to us, and we'd probably rather stop Finn. So we'd probably want to be the rook on the left to get there's the a, pawn. There's a right. pawn. Right. But if we don't well, have a rook on the left, we don't get a front. pawn there. Yeah. And Nico and Finn could move right gotcha. in. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So yeah, what we'll do is uh. At least the rook should be the left. Yeah. Who's, Everything else to the right and the rook to the left. Who's going to be the rook again? Uh, Levi. Levi. Levi's the rook? Okay. <gasps> then He's going to get him into a punch up with Fran. Oh my god. The two Let's go. <laughs> the two heavy hitters. This is going to be a heavyweight fight right there. Levi's I the I only have his punch fight. Like, okay. it's always one. And then which knight is Roxy going to be? Right. The right, um, the right, right. knight? Okay, yeah. and then yeah. which bishops? Who's gonna the be right. which bishop? Well, you have two bishops. Who's gonna be oh. which one? The black. Who's gonna be the black bishop, and who's gonna be the white bishop? Um, let's uh, look at their black and white bishops. I, I, so. I, I think that uh, that Anna Silva should be the white bishop because Nico can enter instantly, and if Roxana flees, he can fight the bishop. Mm. So Anna yeah. Silva. Should be more capable of defending herself than than Al. No, no offense. None taken. Because that's also a problem. Like the side that we don't have a rook on will be perfect for for either rook. You're gonna or slide down. Yeah. Yeah. So well, we no. Oh no, no, because they will have a a pawn in front of them, so they can't do that. No. Yeah, because uh, Nico should have a pawn in front of him, so he can't just slide yeah. straight down. And Finn also ha he, has a pawn in front of him. Finn has a pawn, and I have a pawn, yeah. Because that's, okay, so that's the... There's no worry about that. Yeah, so there's there's no way he could just slide straight down. And that's, yeah. so that's kind of... Something I just thought of, like in regular chess, like it's a turn per person, but like if we're rolling by initiative, like... Team Wampus could have two or three of their players going in a row, which means, unless you're letting it just be one per team and like rotating oh. us like that arc. No, nope, it's by purely by initiative. It's by oh, yeah, best I initiative. I mean, that okay, could play so in that, our favor. That could play yeah. in our favor too to let us get two or three turns in a uh, row as well. 
Yeah, initiative is really going to matter there. Initiative for is sure. definitely going to matter. That, thank goodness I got a plus one in my swiftness when I advanced. That's good. Now I don't have a minus one in initiative. Like zero in initiative. Well, I mean, speed's important, but it's going to also be how it falls out just randomly, like if we get multiple turns in a row or not. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. So it looks like you guys picked your pieces <laughs> and your positioning. And I, I think, think this looks good. I think so, too. Let me just think a little bit. So while you're thinking, Al would... We'll assume we had this conversation and we kind of discussed our pieces and I would just look at both professors and just be like, so any last any last tips from you guys? None of us are really exceptional duelers on this team. I'm going to say that Professor Zuberi will uh, place uh, a hand on uh, his back and he says, are you planning on brewing any potions for this? I already was planning it. Some health potions. I will take care of it. Well, if you're going to do health potions, Roxy, I might try to brew some various offensive potions, maybe something we can, you know, toss their way and distract them or damage them in some way. You but might... you, Mr. Alchemy Professor, <laughs> do you have an idea? If you are able to provide the potions, I may be able to provide you with something that would be more adaptive. I have an alchemical technique, he says, and... Um, he says, that allows you to transform a healing potion into a poison, and vice, vice versa. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm willing to try to learn that. It's an universal solution, he says. So basically, once I, once I apply the alchemical technique, shake it clockwise to make it heal, shake it counterclockwise to make it poison before you use it. And you can switch back and forth accordingly. Hmm. Interesting. We just have to mem remember which uh, direction is the right one. <laughs> I was gonna say, do we still have that like thing that Aika gave us? That potion that Aika gave us? Al will rummage through his bag and say, "Yeah, I, I still have it." And he'll pull it out. He's like yeah. a really good like potion guy. Maybe he has that. Try spinning it one way and the other. See if like it was poison and no, now it's potion. And don't. I would. That. <laughs> I would hand it to um. He'll, he'll hand this to Barry and say, I think one of your students actually brewed this, and it was just in case we needed it last event, but I thought something seemed off about it. Can you can you enlighten me? And he'll hand it to him. You're saying that this was from Maika? Uh, yes. I can, almost, yeah. I can almost guarantee there's more to this than meets the eye. He is one of my best students. He unplugs the, um, the potion, puts it up to his nose, and he gives it a sniff. Hmm. Clever boy, Aika. So yes, he says he pops the um, the potion after doing a little bit of a doing a little bit of an analysis. This concoction here prevents you from taking a certain amount of damage from poison, but it has a delay effect that causes you to become very nauseous an hour later once you drink it. Oh, that's really nasty, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, is there any way to take it and not get the nausea? Any any anti-potion? I can alter it and remove the nausea side effect. I mean, that'd if, be ideal if you could. If you don't believe that a potion such as this would not be useful to you later on in life. Hmm. Well, you couldn't give it back to Aika. He's too smart for that. <laughs> I wouldn't give it back to maybe, Aika. Maybe I'll hold on to it for now, then. I think we have a few of our own health potions we left over from last round. It's good to have that foresight, yes. I think that you never know. Maybe some sometime down later in life, it might prove useful. She says with yeah, a little bit of a grin. And save our, our lives. Okay, so, are we done strategizing? Something else someone can think of? We really have to talk to the three of you. And she looks at the professors. She looks at <laughs> like the waiting. Oh, as in like the three of his, yeah. Yeah, my teammates. I was like, <laughs> she looked at we would be more than happy to let you have your own private conversation, but I wanted to speak with Juan privately as well before I leave. Ooh, okay. Of course. So do we like 
leave the room or like yeah, how is are you guys going to leave first and then we talk and then you come back in and we leave something like that <laughs> you don't have to leave the room we just need a corner he says oh okay okay professor professor zuberi will take you to a corner um then he will uh with his hands cuz he doesn't need a wand he starts to um pass his arm towards like the side around you in the corner and you can see this barrier the semi-transparent barrier form around him and for those of you outside of this barrier once he he puts it up um you can see that they're conversing but you can't hear anything while they're conversing it's like That's a soundproof a soundproof like space basically it's so very so cool it's like Juan, before I go, I wish to talk to you about Shaksa matters. Of course, Professor. What's the issue? Completely independent of the events, I've been observing your progress just as a student in general. And I know that someone like yourself greatly embodies the values of Shaksa in your desire to protect your friends. Thank you so much. I it, it's just instinct, you know? I believe the time has finally come for you to start learning some of the Shaksa secret spells. We have secret spells? <laughs> every every house in Wagadu has secret spells. And these spells are heavily heavily guarded. Other students from other houses, I must warn you, have been trying for many many years to learn the secrets of each other's houses spells. So if I were to give you this knowledge, you need to be very protective of it. Um I just want to say when he says very students of other houses, Juan immediately Ajika. Yeah. Ajika. <laughs> Ajika. The Engaziwa house in particular uh <laughs> has been the closest to learning the how the, the secret spells of the other houses. I'm sure. But professor it's such an honor. I swear I will guard those secrets with my life. Very well. In order to learn this spell before the next event, which you don't have to, but I think it might be very useful in this case, given what the next event is all about. It is a spell that we call the spell of Magnet. Do you know what that is? I I, I don't have any idea. What is it? What does it do? It's a jinx spell that essentially allows you to draw a targeted spell that's originally targeted at one of your companions to yourself instead. As you can see, it is a spell of great sacrifice, but for someone like yourself who wants to save and help protect your friends as much as possible, it is crucial. It would be an honor to learn that. Anything to help. Yeah, I, I, how... Do we have to do a special training or...? Indeed. After class, you and I will have to do some one-on-one -on -one training so that I can try to attempt to teach you this very difficult spell before the beginnings of the next event. If you are able to succeed, hopefully that will mean the difference between are you, are you the king? Wait, out of character, which which piece are you? Are you the king? I'm the king. He says, <laughs> if you are going to be the king, and you learn this spell, I would seriously consider convincing your friend for somebody else to be the king. This might be a good last ditch effort for whoever that king is, if they are about to take a blow that would take them out. If I'm able to learn this spell, I'll definitely talk with my teammates about that. Good, he says. You're allowed to tell your teammates the effects of the spell, but you're not allowed to teach them how to cast it. Of course. At this point, Juan is like super excited, like, oh my god, I'm gonna learn a secret spell of my house, oh my god. <laughs> Keep in mind, he says, that this allows you to attract any single targeted spell towards you. 
that's both negative or positive. That, that, that seems so useful. Are you sure that I deserve something like that? He says, I do. I know that you have a lot of people you wish to protect, people very dear to you. And I think this is the ultimate, uh, the ultimate of all protection spells in the sense of selflessness. Thank you so much, Professor. I swear, I'll do my best to learn it and I'll keep it a secret. Thank you so much. And with that, he will leave. Out of character, I am going to give you an opportunity to learn this spell before the next event. You will have to roll, and you will have to get a certain number of successes in order to learn it before the second, before the third event. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that yeah, off camera. When the professors leave, Roxana's gonna close the door behind them. And she's noticeably, like her body language noticeably changes, and she's like, all right. The four of us need to talk. Let's Seriously. Talk. Well, uh, first I have to get the mushy stuff out of the way because I'm not usually <laughs> pleasant unless it's to a very few selection of people. Um, Just Toby. No, there are others, surprisingly. But um, I owe the three of you an apology and a sincere thanks. Because the past few days have really been a nightmare, to say the least. But the three of you have been like, Oh God, this sounds so corny, but my knights in shining armor. You have all been so tolerant and and kind, even when I didn't deserve it. Like you, Levi, I, I call you an idiot all the time. And it's pretty much in every second sentence. I insult yeah. you and Juan, I, I yes. And Juan, I, I betrayed your trust. And Albion, I don't even need to say why you should keep me. But um, despite that, I think we all came full circle. And I've spent all this time trying to be somebody that everyone liked, and the people who really cared, I haven't been the nicest to. And I wasn't there for the team and accounted. Like I, I went to protect Toby in the Quidditch match, and Albion nearly fell to his death. Like I, I prioritize myself and my own needs above the group, and that needs to change. And it's going to change. But at the same time, I wonder if. In light of recent events, if my presence here is doing more harm than good. Al's gonna have a curious look at that last part, and he's gonna just be like, My dad didn't talk to you, did he? What do you mean? Um, you, he, hasn't, he hasn't said anything to you about the competition? Uh, no. Why should he have? Okay, 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 guys. It doesn't matter what Al's dad would say. If I'm understanding what you're trying to say, no. You will not leave this competition. It's just, it, I'm not saying that I won't ever talk to you guys or help because I will, no, I will spend no, no, every... No, no, you're not leaving. You're it's a member just... of this team. We it's need not you. fair. It's not fair on you guys. I don't want my shit to be rubbing off on you. It's it's not fair. Look, Rox. 
what you decide to do is up to you. I mean, like Juan, I I don't want you to leave the team. I think that if you leave our team, it's it's only gonna make it harder for us. But at the end of the day, you've got to make the best choice for you. And yes, maybe our team has had its moments where we didn't gel exactly right. But look at look at that first event. Even despite you flying over to Toby, you know we we still came through. Our boy Levi here got the snitch and. You know, now now these other teams are after us, and if you leave us now, that could that could just make it harder for us. We're in this together, Roxy. Fuck what everyone else thinks, okay? You're a member of our team. You're our friend, and we're not abandoning any friends. Um. Thank you. And, and I am serious. I'm going to. I'm going to do whatever I have to do. For this team. Um, I'm going to do potions. I'll even I'll even study if you need me to. And try and help us win. But um, I can't guarantee it's going to be easy. If you're going to keep me here, it's not going to be beer and skittles you know <laughs> it's going to be rough go like really things <laughs> go like <light>, cc <laughs> the only thing back, that back to what you were saying al what was your father saying about rocks yeah actually i'm very curious yeah. about that well uh, my dad i mean I'm pretty sure, I don't. I think I told you guys, I'm pretty sure he pulled strings to even get me in this competition, but after everything came out with your dad, his capture and Azkaban, my dad came to me and he told me a few things, and one of which was, he, you know, he thought that maybe your being in the competition was holding me back, but I told him that wasn't the case, and I told him I'd be really upset with him if he did anything to jeopardize your position in the competition, unless it's what you wanted. I mean, if you don't want to be here, then I support whatever decision you make. But so yeah, if he if he, if he comes to you and asks you, I just I hope you I hope you tell him what you want, not what you want what you think others want, and don't let him don't let him bully you around. I won't. I'm... <laughs> Contrary to everything that's been happening, I I do like being in the competition and I like being part of this team. So then stay, it's simple. <laughs>